What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today obviously I was in for the two 800 hour bullets, loss of 1600. Got it in pretty good, um, you know, 60% equity four ways and then over 67% heads up. Um, you know, just couldn't really win the big pots, but that's how it goes sometimes in tournaments. So a couple of you have asked about my results for the series and uh, figured I would just kind of go through a quick rundown of how everything went. So played a total of 22 bullets into 20 different tournaments. The total buy-ins on those were $19,600. I cashed six times. Most of those, unfortunately, were min caches. I did have one deep run in the Raz event, the $1,500. I finished 15th for about 6,500. But really besides that, everything was mostly min caches. And all of those caches equaled 16,208. So equals a loss of 33.92. So, you know, pretty unfortunate to book a loss, but really this was the first year that I kind of dove head first into the tournament scene. Um, the last couple of years, I pretty much played mostly cash at the series and I would sprinkle in tournaments. This year, I really only played like three cash sessions and uh, the rest was mostly tournaments. So, um, you know, I had one cash, uh, one WSOP cash coming into this year. I had five, uh, you know, five of the six caches I had were at the WSOP. So definitely learned how to min cash. Now I just have to turn more of those min caches into, you know, deeper runs. That's obviously where you get, you know, paid the most. Um, some of the biggest lessons I learned, um, you know, there are so many great non-SOP events that I have here. Um, you know, everyone obviously focuses on the WSOP events because that gets all the, you know, the fame and the glitz and the glamour. But, you know, they made some changes this year, most notably to the payouts. So it used to be min caches were pretty much like 1.5x. So, you know, you play a $1,000 tournament, min cash usually can be a 1500 uh, this year, most of the min caches, with the exception of, I believe, only the main event, uh, all of the min caches now are 2x. So that's good. I mean, obviously, I benefited this year because I did uh, min cache a bunch, but a lot of people I talked to, including pros, Mike Matisau, John Raisner, a couple other people I talked to, they didn't really like it. Um, that was the consensus I got. Most people really didn't like it because essentially they gutted the entire middle of the payout. Um, you know, so once people got in the money, there really wasn't very much, uh, to play for unless you make, you know, like the final two tables or so. I know, uh, one of the first tournaments I played and actually was the first tournament I cashed. I got like 137th and, uh, I got like 3k. It was a $1,500 tournament. My buddy, he got around 50th place and I don't even think he got 5k. Maybe he got like 4,800. So he literally finished like 80 something spots better than me and he only received an extra like $1,800. So pretty crazy. Um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think of that payout structure? Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, another thing I put is take a break in the middle. So that's pretty much what I did the last two years. I would come out for the first week or two, you know, drive home. Obviously I'm only about a four hour drive from Vegas. So that's a little convenient for me. I would drive home for about a week or two and then come back for a week or two, week or two you know, refreshed. This year I was out here the whole time and uh, I definitely felt it at the end. Um, I bricked my last seven bullets. So uh, definitely the fatigue was setting in. So I think next year I'm gonna take a little break. Whether I go back to San Diego or maybe go to like I know some of the locals are mentioning Mount Charleston as a place that some of the Vegas locals kind of go to escape the heat. Let me know a good spot or recommendation for that. Uh, lastly, I put quality over quantity. So this year I was just trying to play as many WSOP events as possible. And, uh, you know, it definitely took a toll. As I mentioned, the fatigue kind of set in at the end. Um, this year, the highest buy-in I played was a $1,500. But there was some events that I was interested in playing that were a little higher. You know, there's a 2500 OE, there's a 3K9 game, some other ones. So I think next year I'm going to maybe play a little bit less in terms of the quantity of tournaments, but maybe play some higher buy-in tournaments. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, hope to see you guys out at the meetup game, which is August 2nd. 
August 1st is the official grand opening. August 2nd, starting at 2, 2 to 10 is the official meetup game. So I hope to see you guys there and uh, see you guys in the next one. Take care.